Bradley Sutton Helium 10. This pro training, we're talking about Cerebro and we're talking about a mature product and another way that maybe you have not thought about in order to compare your performance against your competitors. And this is super important because this is a way that 95% of sellers are probably not doing and they have misconceptions about it. And this method is only available through Helium 10 and Cerebro. All right, so let's say you're in the instrument niche, all right? An accordion, you have an accordion. Let's go ahead and go to Amazon and search for what would be the main keyword, which would be accordion. Accor, how do you spell accordion? There we go, accordion. Now let's say that you have, this is your product. This is a sponsored ad right here, but let's just say that this is your product. Uh, it's a $599 accordion, all right? Now this is a very important concept. The misconception out there is that if this is your product, a professional accordion that maybe a mariachi band or a professional musical band has, um, if this is your main product and this is your main keyword, the standard teaching is that, okay, everybody on page one of your main keyword are your direct competitors, all right? You're fighting with them to get on page one. You're fighting with them to get to the top of page one. Um, so here's my question for you. This product here, this is page one, position one, you know, the first one that's not a sponsored ad, and it's Amazon's choice. So is this your competitor? Guess what? The answer is no. Are you shocked? Are you confused? How is this not your competitor? And it's, it's an accordion. It's on page one of your main keyword. Of course you're fighting with him for sales, right? No. Your competitor is who you're fighting for sales for. You are not fighting for one sale from this guy. Why not? Look at this. This is a kid's accordion. It costs $24, all right? Um, you have a professional $600 accordion. When people go on Amazon to buy something and they search something, they have something in mind of what they want, right? And what they're searching for is they're searching for the image or they're searching for the product that matches that image of what they think that they want. If somebody is in a mariachi band and they have a new member, they need to get him an accordion, all right? That's what they're, they're thinking about. Now what's their action? They go to Amazon and now they're searching accordion, all right? Would they, in a million years, say, oh, here's a $23 kid's accordion. I'm going to get this for a new band member. Of course not. It does not matter that this is page one, position one, and the first one that they see. It doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? It's because they would never buy this. To them, this is like invisible. They're just going to skip over it, and they're going to look at this next one. Oh, another kid's accordion. Guess what? It doesn't matter. You would never lose a sale to one of these sellers here for this product if your product is this one because they would never buy it. Vice versa. If you have a kid's accordion, they're not going to see this and say, oh, I'm going to get this. Uh, I came on Amazon because I wanted to get a kid's accordion for my five-year-old niece, uh, but instead I'm going to get my five-year-old niece this $599 accordion. That's not going to happen. They're not competitors. All right, guys? This is something that might be different for you to try and think about things in a different way. So actually, for, for your product, the page one, position one, is the first product that comes up that looks and feels and is priced like your product. And in this case, that's number three right here. So this really is the main competitor for your product. Why? This is a professional accordion. It's a $300 accordion. Absolutely, somebody would consider buying this who's thinking about buying a product that's similar to yours. Does that make sense? So with that in mind, this is how you can compare yourself with your main competitors. I had to get that out of the way first so you understand this concept, all right? So let's let's dig down into it. So um, I don't want to pick that one. I want to pick a, a, a product that's not selling too well, but that is a professional accordion. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go opposite. I I'm going to go and say that my product is a kid's accordion. So let's see. Here we go. Is that? No, that's a professional accordion. Here's a kid's accordion, but that's doing pretty well. Um, let's see. Here's another kid's accordion. Here, yeah, let's go ahead and pick this a kid's accordion, all right? Uh, yeah, toy for instrument for kids. So, I mean, he's doing pretty good. He he's uh, ranked pretty high on here. I'm going to put this, and this is going to be my baseline product that I'm going to put. I'm going to go to Cerebro. I'm going to paste it right here. That's my, uh, not, I'm sorry, I said baseline product. This is my product, all right? Let's just say that's my product. 
I need to know what I'm doing wrong because I know my competitors are selling more than me. So what are they doing that I'm not? Why are my competitors selling more than me? How can I compare myself, all right? So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see who are my direct competitors who are selling the most, all right? Selling the most. So let's go ahead and sort this by revenue. I want the best-selling kids accordions out there. This first one, this guy is selling $15,000 a month, but look, I'm just looking here at the price. I know these are not my competitors. The best-selling competitor to me is, look at this, this one right here, 25 bucks, and that's a kid's accordion. This is what I want to compare myself to. I could care less what keywords these guys are uh, performing on because they're not my competitors. I'm going to paste that first ace in here. Let's see if I can find a couple more. Nope, nope. Here we go. Another kid's accordion. This guy is selling 300 units a month. Absolutely, I want to know what he's doing. Paste that right there. Maybe one more. Uh, here we go. Let's see. What is this? Well, that's a shoulder strap. Oh, okay. So look, here, here is my um, here's my accordion. So it looks like I'm the third best. Is, is this the one I picked? V I O. VIO. So yeah, there's that accordion. He's like the third best already. So my accordion is third best already. So I'm doing pretty good. Here's another kid's one. All right. So I just want to see maybe what this guy's doing. Oh, no. Here's another one that's selling a little bit more. All right. Let's go ahead and pick this one. All right. So wow. I'm already uh, hyped because it looks like my product is maybe the second or third best selling one, but I'm not number one. And I want to know, find out why. So I'm going to hit get keywords. And again, as you guys learned in video number two, get keywords uh, is going to find all the different keywords that it might be organically ranking for that have come up in sponsored ads or that Amazon recommends. But for this exercise, all I'm concerned about is the organically ranked ones. All right. Let's see here. Uh, all right. 5,800 keywords. So here's the ones I just want to pick the keywords that all three of these are ranking for. So I know that they're very relevant to me. So I'm going to say ranking competitors three, all right? And I'm going to hit apply. Whoops, and I need to put uh, organic. Actually, this might be organic already. Let me see, 251. Yeah, 251 organically ranked keywords. Now, notice what I'm not doing. I am not going in and uh, filtering for search volume. This method actually disregards search volume. Uh, it also disregards where my rank is because let me – roll something by you here. If you are always the first one to show up out of all your main competitors, if you are ranked first out of those other ones, if all things are considered equal, guess what? You're probably getting more sales from them, regardless of the search volume, regardless of the page position. Does that make sense? Think about that for a second. We're comparing apples to apples. Of course, there's PPC, there's outside traffic, there's if you're a brand name or not. But if we're talking apples to apples and your product sh is the first one that comes up in any search related to your product compared to your main com competitors, guess what? You're probably selling more than them. Right now, you know you're not selling more than them, and that's probably because your competitors are the ones that are coming up first. So this exercise is not about search volume. It's not about where you are overall in the rank. It's where you are compared to your main competitors. We call that relative rank, and we have that right here. All right, relative rank. So take a look at some of these keywords. For example, take a look at this accordion instrument. All right, accordion instrument is a keyword that people use to buy accordions. Makes sense, right? And look where relatively it's rank four. Why is it four? All right, uh, it's four because look, one is rank two, one is rank three, one is rank five. Those are my competitors. And look at the one that's in bold. That's me. I'm ranked 11. Okay. So that tells me, well, well, probably on this keyword, my competitors are getting some more sales than me because I'm ranked 11 and they're all on the top of page one. What about something that's even more, um, something that's even more relevant, all right, than just accordion? Let me see if I can find any kids accordion uh, words here. Let's see. Actually, look at uh, one thing that's interesting is look at these uh, misspellings. You see, misspellings are here too. This is not the way to. Sp this is probably how I would spell accordion, all right, if I didn't have autocomplete. Look at this keyword right here. Acordeón para niños. This is the Spanish word for accordion for children. How are we doing? What's my relative rank here? I'm last place, dead last. All right, why? 
Let's go ahead and mouse over here. One guy is rank one, one is three, one is four, and I'm five. That may not be too much of a difference, but hey, is there a difference between being ranked one and being ranked five? You better believe there's a difference, all right? So there's another reason why maybe I'm not getting as many sales as my competitor. Look at this one, Child's Accordion. Child's Accordion. Let's take a look here. It says I am not ranked at all. That's shocking to me. Look at that. My competitors are one, two, three, and I am not ranked at all. I I'm just curious. Maybe they're not even indexed. Let's go ahead and do a sidebar right here and go to index checker, um, which is the product that is my, my main product that I said is mine. It's this one. Let me get that. Uh, here it is right here. All right. Let me get that ASIN. Whoops. Let me get out of this. All right. Let me copy this ASIN. I'm going to go to index checker. All right. And this is what you might be doing. This is exactly how I want you guys to think. All right. So you're like, hey, child's accordion, I am not even ranked for. Does that mean that I don't even have it in my listing? Let me see. Child's accordion. All right. I'm going to put that into index checker and I'm going to check it. Look at that. I am not even on the traditional index for it, but I am indexed for it. Uh, the, the field ASIN index text, I passed. But for some reason, I'm not traditionally, I'm not, I'm not on the traditional index here. So I might need to go into my listing and look what's happening. Because look, if somebody types in the ASIN and the keyword, it doesn't come up. All right? So that's interesting. So why am I not coming up for this keyword? Why am I not ranked? I need to go in there and do it. This is the process you have to take. Uh, what about the words that you are ranked, right? Three, three, and now I'm ranked four. But I'm not ahead of my competitors. Well, I'm going to go in there. I might need to uh, you know, concentrate more heavy on the PPC, maybe optimize my listing to make sure that Amazon knows that uh, this keyword is important to me. You do whatever method that you have to increase your ranking. But again, I am not concerned about search volume in this exercise. I am not concerned about what page I'm on. I'm concerned about right here, relative rank, all right? Where am I ranked compared to the top selling ones of my competitors? Because if I can get this relative rank to be number one, let me just show you here what that looks like, if there are any that this guy is ranked number one for. He's not. He's ranked number two. So look at this. Accordion beginner. Look, he's got Amazon's choice, and he's ranked number two out of the five. All right? So on this keyword, guess what? I'm probably getting sales more sales on this keyword than my competitors. But for all these other keywords, it's very possible that they're getting more sales than me. So I need there's some work I need to do on this. So guys, this is another great way to test your product versus your competition, even if it's a mature product. Thanks.